Hey guys, it's Paul, Military History Gear Review. I just wanted to do a review of some of the gear that I've been using uh, regularly over the past really two years that I've been filming this channel. I think it's uh, appropriate. You see, I love military gear, but there is a lot of civilian gear that I also use, right? So let's take a look at, at my review of my preferred water filter, right? This is the Sawyer Mini. And I got this, actually this actual filter, uh, two years ago. It weighs about two ounces. Uh, it's rated up to 100,000 gallons to filter uh, over its lifespan. It filters out most bacteria and viruses. Um, it does not, what it does not do is things that are like heavy metals that are dissolved in water. That's not what this is for. All right, it normally comes with a plunger uh, a syringe and a bladder. Um, I've obviously got this syringe back at my house and I don't have the bladder anymore. So how has it been for me over two years? Well, I gotta say, I mean, I've still got it after two years. Um, in fact, my wife owns an identical one because of just how reliable this has been, right? For being so small, it is a really, really effective filter. You know, it, it's compact, it's durable, you can throw it in your backpack and use it wherever. Another nice feature about it that's pretty pretty essential actually is that this nozzle connects to almost all standard um, uh, commercial water bottle threads, right? So what that means is even if you don't have the original bladder, which honestly the original bladder um, that comes with it broke pretty quickly for me, you can easily replace it with, in this case, I just got a Walmart flexible canteen, and you can see that the standard nozzle threads screw right on and form a watertight seal. Meaning that if you have a smart water bottle or uh, a flexible canteen or anything else almost, you can filter water through it. The other thing that's nice is having the syringe lets you clean this out as long as you get a little bit of clean water to push through it and backwash out anything, um, any dirt or, or grime that might clog up the pores that it uses to filter it. And again, in two years, my wife and I, we've never gotten, knock on wood, we've never gotten sick, we've never gotten a GI issue, we've never had like Giardia or anything like that as a result of drinking bad water. Um, and that's got to be because of this. Um, we've even filtered water through some pretty shady uh, sources. You know, we've, we've done it out of like pretty murky ponds. We once did it out of uh, Iron Spring in Bryce Canyon National Park, where the water was this like red, thick clay mud because it was the middle of the summer and it just dissolved. And so we had to like scoop out the the, the mud and create like a little pool of sort of clear water and just one bladder full at a time we squeezed it through this and filtered out the two gallons of water we needed that day. So again a real testament to the fact that this this little bad boy is a workhorse and it, it, it really is it's one of my favorites. Militaries don't really make an equivalent. Uh, the Russian military sometimes issues water purification tablets. Uh, their recent Ratnik system has a water purification system that comes with it but it uses like disposable charcoal filters anyway for, for a backpacker or camper or even if you're a survivalist you know being able to quickly drink uh, stagnant water is, is pretty useful um, this is just a great you know $20 investment right keep this keep a flexible canteen or even just two smart water bottles right use one drink it and when it's empty fill it up with uh, gray water, and run it through this filter. All right, that's all I had for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like these kind of short, succinct reviews of gear that I've put a lot of time, miles, and energy into, uh, let me know in the comments below, and be sure to like the video, and if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the trail.